Okay, <clears throat> now here the question is, if the load is purely resistive, then how do we calculate or how do we find out the condition for maximum power and what is the value of maximum power? Now we know the condition uh, in case it was a ductive, uh, sorry, it was an impedance, then ZL is equal to Z theorem conjugate and so from here we also could write that RL should be equal to R theorem and XL or JXL should be equal to minus JX theorem. Now in this case, since we only have resistance in the load, therefore X load becomes zero and so this is the equation. Now we cannot uh, equate a real term with an imaginary term, therefore what we should do is take the magnitude of the two terms and that should be equal to the uh, load resistance. So RL should be equal to R theorem square plus X theorem square under root or we can say it is equal to mod Z theorem. Now uh, we can find the current through the circuit, so this is the voltage and uh, these are the two uh, load elements or the uh, circuit elements, so I is V theorem over Z theorem plus RL and once we have found the uh, current then we can find the maximum power by half I square RL. So this is the technique that we will use in case of a pure resistive load. Let us solve uh, one or two examples. Now in this example, as you can see, the load is RL, purely resistive, and this is the remaining circuit. We need to find the value of RL that will absorb maximum average power, and also we have to calculate the maximum average power. So from here, we need to find Z theorem and V theorem from the rest of the circuit. So separating the load and uh, making the voltage source zero, this is the circuit and we are looking from here. So J20 comes in parallel with this and so we solve for Z theorem 40 minus uh, J30 in parallel with 20 and solving we find it to be 9.412 plus J 22.35. Now if you, uh, we need to find also V theorem from the circuit, so again this is the circuit for V theorem and V theorem is actually the voltage here, that means the V theorem is the voltage across J20 and by voltage deviant rule we can find the voltage across J20. So total voltage, total voltage divided by total resistance, this is the total, sorry, uh, impedance and multiply by the impedance across which we are trying to find, so multiply by J20 and solving this is our V theorem. So we have V theorem, but uh, we need to find the current because for power uh, we need I square R L. So how much is R L? Let us find out R L first of all. So R L we noted uh, that R L is uh, in this case it will be equal to mod of Z theorem. So this is Z theorem. So if we take mod of this, that is R theorem square, X theorem square, so this term is square plus this term is square, and it will be equal to 24.25. You could also, uh, uh, okay, so this is 24.25 ohm is RL, and now we need to find the current. So the formula for current, V theorem, Z theorem and RL, now we have all the values, so putting the values, we find current to be 1.8 angle 
hundred point four two amperes. So by putting half I square R L, we can find the maximum average power. So maximum average power absorbed is a high half I square R L, and that comes to be thirty nine point two nine watt. Another example of the similar type. So in this case, this is the load, series load. I'm not going to the details, but you can see that these two branches are in parallel and these two uh, are in series. So we can equate them to. Uh, we can find the ZL by removing uh, the load and shorting the voltage source. So this becomes the circuit. Solving these two in parallel. And the series for simplification the circuit would look like this these two we call z1 and these two in parallel we call z2 and then for zn z1 is in parallel with z2 so z1 we found in series and z2 in parallel of these two and Z7. We find the answer to be 17.181 minus J24.57. So J this is uh, Z7, and what we need is to find R L from here. So this is the first uh, we have to uh, take the mod. But before that, let's calculate the a thevenant voltage. So this the voltage here is the thevenant voltage. Volt by voltage division rule, we can find the thevenant voltage to be 35.98. So uh, the total voltage divided by total impedance multiplied by Z2. So we get the V thevenant. Now for maximum power, we know that R L has to be equal to mod of Z. Thevenin in case the load resistance uh, the load is resistive. So by solving you can find it to be 30 ohms. Actually, if you take the mod of these two or you can solve it by uh, converting it to polar, you get answer to be 29.92. Either you could take the square of these two and they uh, under root or you can just convert it to polar so you'll get the magnitude. So 29.92 is the actual value, but we can write it to be equal to 30 ohm. So RL we found, now we need to find the current. So current is V thevenant divided by the total Z thevenant plus RL. So we find current to be 0.6764. And then now power is half I square RL. Half I square RL, we get 6.8. 63 watt. Now at the end you must remember that if the load is uh, load imp has impedance form, form of an impedance, then you should use this formula that for the condition for maximum power is ZL should be equal to Z thevenant conjugate and the maximum average power you can find by finding V thevenant square divided by 8 R thevenant. But be careful if the load is resistive then you have to use this formula R L is equal to mod of Z thevenant and average maximum average power will be half I square R L. So I hope this will give you some idea about the maximum power transfer. Thank you.